Welcome to the Commissioner's Report. I'm your host, Jeremy Moretti. And with me today, we have uh, Commissioner Neil Cumby and newly appointed County Attorney Randy Mink. Thank, Thank you, you guys for coming in. Thank you. Well, we're here uh, a little bit to, to talk about uh, Randy's uh, new position in uh, taking over for Michael Craig, who had been here for a number of years. And uh, Commissioner Cumby, I thought it'd probably be more appropriate to, to start with you a little bit. To, Give us some perspective, uh, both historical, um, since you have quite a bit of experience with county attorneys here, and uh, a little bit from the board's perspective on the selection of Randy. Well, you know, I, I go back to 1988 when I first was elected to the board. I was quite young at the time, <laughs> still in my 20s, and uh, had a seasoned county attorney by the name of Irvin Cowie, who was our county attorney, and it took, uh, it took a little bit of getting used to because it seemed like most of my good ideas, uh, the county attorney was around to tell me why it would probably not work. <laughs> and uh, Urban was more than happy to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of the, the things that uh, you know county attorneys do, and, and Randy will be doing it, is trying to explain to us about how what we may want to do uh, in an attempt to solve a problem is doesn't square with the Constitution, mm -hmm. either the state Constitution or the U.S. Constitution. So that was kind of a learning experience to me, and Irvin was patient with me. And, and uh, after Irvin, we had Mark Carpanini, who had been in the county attorney's office, I think, for quite some time. And Mark has gone on and has been a circuit judge in Polk County for many, many years now. And uh, I had a, a real, you know, uh, special relationship with Mark. I don't know why, but uh, he was he was a great friend and a great advisor to me, and was probably a little more diplomatic with me in some ways than Irvin was, and you know tried to tried to let me down easy sometimes when there were things that I thought we should be able to do or or maybe could do to maybe improve the quality of life to to you know just help the people of the county. But mm -hmm. there's always uh, reasons that. You know, something that looks like it should be easy is not necessarily easy. Sure. So I think that's the job. And I, you know, was here with Joe Jarrett for a little while, and and I left in '04. And uh, Joe was probably left maybe a year later, two years later, something like that. Didn't, didn't work with Joe for a long time, and then I've come in on the tail end of uh, of Michael's uh, uh, time as county attorney. So I think he's been here a, over a dozen years, or yeah, I think it's 13, 13, 13, years, 13, yeah. 13 years. So. Uh, quite a long time, but I mean that's the role of the county attorney is to basically give the board advice. I think it, to the best of Randy's ability or Mark's or anybody's in that role, you know, you try to do it in a fair way to and treat all board members the same way. And in terms of providing information and communicating, and communication is important. And, and I think that was uh, one thing that really was uh, uh, the board found. Uh, you know, uh, that Randy had was the ability to communicate and the willingness to, you know, spend time and explain what's going on and, and give the board members heads up and all and stuff. And Randy's got a lot of years of experience here yes, uh, in the county attorney's office, so I don't think there's uh, a whole lot of uh, doubt that he'll be able to, you know, take the baton and go with it and, and uh, manage the office and, and really, you know, do the work that, that needs to be done to tell the board uh, you know where the boundaries are mm -hmm. and what we can and can't do mm -hmm. and uh, h help us craft solutions that you know to problems and uh, which will continue to come up and there will be situations where we think we need to make changes to ordinances and uh, it's going to be his job to to advise us on that but I think he's up for it. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Well thank yeah you. I mean you've been here for uh, a number of years uh, as well. About and 15 years oh, 15 years of being October and stuff actually Joe Jarrett is one that hired me so I think I worked under him for about a year, but then the rest of my career, I worked under Michael for the 13 and a half years and stuff, mm -hmm. who was a real big mentor of mine as I went, went through the process and stuff. So uh, through that time, have handled many situations for the county. Um, start done code enforcement pretty much the whole time I was here was one of my divisions you know for the county attorney's office we handle more than one division a lot of people don't realize that when you're working with a division that we have several different divisions we work on but code enforcement gives you the ability to work with a lot of other divisions to work out issues i think that's one of the main functions of us as, in addition to providing legal advice is also 
problem solving and, and everything. That's the approach I always take is, you know, how can we resolve this issue, not just put up a barrier and, and a lot of the requests that we get. And, and, and those are a lot of complicated cases as well. Yes, code enforcement can bring yeah. it. And it's not only just the legal comp case, the complication legally, it's also personality sometimes that you're working through and everything. Um, a lot of times you're dealing with neighbor disputes and stuff. And sometimes through that you're acting as a, a mediator between the two, trying to work out that issue and trying to get where they want to be and, and can hopefully um, reside next to each other um, without any issues. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't mention that. I talked about, you know, what what the county attorney does for the board, but, you know, when I think about it and listening to staff over the years, uh, their ability to work with the county attorney is, is a you know, an important issue uh, for, for staff to know that they can go and and they're going to get assistance and they're going to get, you know, good advice, good legal advice on what they can and can't do. So that's equally as important as working with the board. Although as a board member, I think, you know, maybe it's more important that he work with us. But, <laughs> yeah. but the reality is uh, he needs to be able to, the county attorney needs to be able to work with staff and, no and have that uh, kind of open door well, policy to help them, you know, accomplish what maybe the board's tasked them with. And, and you know the board creates the policy, and, the, and then the um, staff is is pushing that policy out and so forth. So we're actually working, you know, for the board by trying to get that policy carried out and, and everything. And one of the things I would tell you, at least in Polk County and stuff, is one of the things we hear compliments from many people who, many developers and uh, individuals who work with other counties. You know, Polk County still has that open door policy, and and we we're not afraid to meet with people and sit down with them and work out those issues. And I don't know how many times I've had, had meetings and they're just surprised that someone from the county attorneys is showing up, someone a division director is showing up, and we're all here to help work out this issue and so forth. When other counties, you know, it takes them forever to get in front of someone who can make the decisions. And yeah, stuff. attorneys don't always have to be you know, controversial or inapproachable. Um, I don't know if it's the bad joke sometimes. I, I think that, that <laughs> and I've can, heard plenty can, of them in yeah, my days and, and, and everything, but yeah, that. but I think from our, our office, and this comes from Michael and, and, and from his guidance throughout the years and stuff, we're here to help resolve the issues and stuff. And, you know, we can, we can be confrontational and usually we'll do that in court if we get there, you know, but before we get to court, let's see if we can work out this issue. There are issues that we're not gonna be able to work out, but I think we always, from our office, is to treat individuals professionally and m move through these and explain sometimes why we can't get here. You know, not just say no, but why is a lot of times the approach that I believe our office takes. Okay. Well, it, it kind of take off on that a little bit more, though. I think that what I want from the county attorney uh, is for the county attorney to understand that while they are answer to the board, I and mean, we get to hire the manager and the county attorney, they really work for the people of Polk County. Uh, you know, it, it shouldn't be an us or them. Uh, you know, everybody, everybody that you know is a county resident helps pay for this operation. So I work for all of them. He worked for all of them, but ultimately the answers to the Board of County Commissioners. But that's the kind of attitude I want, and I think that we're going to get that from Randy. That you know he, he'll be respectful to people and understand that if they have you know issues, uh, that you know it's up to us to find out if there is a, a solution that will work for everybody. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of my strengths. I'm coming up. I grew up in a a poor to middle class family and stuff. So I have that ability sometimes to relate to other individuals pretty well and everything and kind of, you know. He assured me of that. Yes, <laughs> and, 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 um, and, and to, to work through those issues very well, you know, and, and, and understand a lot of times, you know, for us, we're always working in government and so forth, but that may be the first time that individual has ever dealt with government or had to come in and so forth. So sometimes they just need that extra help. And, you know, although we can never provide people legal advice, citizens legal advice, because we're not their advisor, we can, we can help them work through those issues sometimes, either through staff or, or at times I'll pick it up phone and discuss it with them and then get back with staff to see if we can work this issue out. Yeah, it's nice to still have that hands-on contact that you're not, up on that pedestal right. and, and, and having that contact with And the that's public. always been an approach I've had over the 15 years of being here is, is always trying to reach out to individuals. Like I said, at least be working through staff, kind of understand, and, and sometimes you just, let's meet and let's, let's just discuss it and find out what, what can we do to resolve this. We may not agree at the end of the day, but at least we work to the solution maybe and they understand why we're at this point and not just be told no. 
who knows, Randy may be here 20 years from now as a county attorney. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. young enough to do it. Well, I hope I'm here along with him for 20 <laughs> years more. Yeah. So, well, thank you both for coming in and kind of laying the, the landscape here for, for what's to come with the, the county attorney's office and also the board. Thank you. So, I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, that does it for this edition of the Commissioner's Report. Look forward to seeing you next time.